Hey everyone, well Veterans Day is coming up, it's in two days, so yeah, I want to do like a, a cop free for all, um, Carmelita Fox versus Jill Valentine versus Sebastian Cristiano, I think that's, I probably messed it up, Matt Cordell and Robocop. <laughs> This, all right, so this match is kind of a bit of a toughy one. I'm not sure who comes in first, second, last, or whatever. The Robocop is definitely the slowest out of. Mm, yeah, Robocop is definitely the slowest out of all of them. But probably has the best attack and intelligence. I mean, guys, able to fight and destroy like well, like spaceships in the comics. Some, yeah, Robocop got comics apparently. Kamala might be the fastest. She is able to jump really high, and her shock pistol could definitely do a lot of damage. Jill has fought tyrants, nemesis, and others. Sebastian is iffy because most of his powers happen inside like a simulation, so does that even count? Um, I mean, I also give him the, those feats to be fair. And my Cordell has uh, super strength, and apparently in the World Maniac Cop universe, if you die and you want to come back to life or you don't want to die, you can just keep coming back. So, Matt Cordell can keep coming back even if you kill him because he doesn't want to move on. He, he, he either refuses to move on or he doesn't want to move on. And because of that, he can just keep going back into his body again and again and again. So, killing him is going to be kind of near impossible. Hmm... Let's see, let's see. Carmelita's probably the fastest, you know. She can she does she can keep up with Sly Cooper, who is fast enough to create vortex and fast enough to dodge lasers, so that should put her faster than light plus. The rest of the characters yeah, the rest of them are slow compared to her. I think the final three I think the final three would be Kamalita versus Matt versus Robocop. And again, Robocop has ways to increase his speed with jetpacks and other stuff like that, so not exactly slow-ish. Hmm. But Kamalita's shock pistol could definitely do damage to Robocop's, well, machinery, especially if, she gets, if he keeps getting hit by the shock pistol. And Kamalita has multiple shot, multiple ammo. Infinite, Homan, three-way shot, and rapid, which can shoot an unlimited lightning bolts in a rapid pace. Oh, and a shock pistol has unlimited ammo, which is lovely. God, I hope. I mean, I know that we're gonna play us on Sly Cooper Five. Yeah, Sly Cooper. Now there has been. Now there has been said that Sly Cooper is getting a new game. It's in development. Don't know when it's gonna come out. Probably twenty twenty three. Probably late twenty twenty two or early twenty twenty three. I'm going to keep waiting until we get any updates. And I don't know if it's going to be Sly 5. The guy, the creator of Sly Cooper, has said they want to make more Sly Cooper games. They, Yeah, they want to bring them back. So I'm thinking Sly 5 is probably going to be like a soft reboot of the franchise. Will also be in a continuation, kind of like what Shantae and the Half Genie Hero did. And then it's going to get some more seagulls. Oh, yay. And I'm hoping maybe those seagulls can definitely power up Sly so that, well, him versus Com 
wounds the bat will be a more fair one, but whatever. Alright, let's see. Um Hmm. Uh, Maniac Cop is definitely going to be the toughest one to put down, seeing how he can just say no to death. So unless he wants to die or wants his soul to move on, he's not going to stay dead. He's going to keep going to keep. He's going to keep coming back alive again and again and again, making this fight. Really, really tough. I mean, unless you completely incinerate him, then he won't have a body to come back to. So, there's that. Hmm. Mostly, yeah, I have a feeling Robocop might win this. But I think it'll be close. Yeah, the fight probably ultimately comes down to Kamalita and Robocop. Robocop probably has ways to incinerate. Him, Matt Cordell, Kamalia should be, well, faster, so she can probably keep up with Robocop. And the Shark Pistol can be problematic for Robocop, but he has some like, tougher things in the comic, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have a go with Robocop. Hmm, alright. Hope everyone has a fun day. Bye.